texture, for example, developing procedure and understanding IO, controlling actuators, and adding motions. My topics are as follows. First, I would like to speak of overall system structure, especially for electronics and software, and second is case specification. And next, I would like to explain the development of the environment, especially for what must be sold to your PC or the Tali. And next, I would like to speak of a briefly software framework of Tali, and especially for accessing devices, something like a gyro, how to access gyro, and a certain winners that read some census value or controlling entries. And next, I show you some examples. You must search with me and him so you can experience it. Many exciting things with Tali. Finally, I would like to speak about the software tool, which consists of the basically of all kinds of software tools. As Kim mentioned before, Tali system has two kinds of significant controllers. One is main controller, we call it main controller. It is a standard PC, and second is sub controller. Those controllers, CM730, is take charge also for communication management. So one is for protocol relay, and second is the sensing interface. As you know, the host, host means main controller, send a PC. Host access the, so, uh, access some kinds of manual sensors, like levels and accelerometers, buttons of LED, and RF28M by the beer, the CM730. The CM730 is when you have uh, accumulated data from uh, gyroscope and accelerometer, and uh, otherwise, and you can, uh, it, it can post the uh, protocol information from PC to RSA, RS28M. Yeah, here is the overall system block diagram. As you know, yeah, there is a main disk and there is a sub controller here. The subcontroller CM730 accumulates simultaneously and real time the gyroscope accelerometers. And like this, this uh, line means the dynamic cell line. It means the main control can access by dynamic cell protocol, the tiny actuators, and through FSR board. Even if this headboard and this baseboard power has some type of different device, like a bike and LED, is connected connect to directly to CM730. It can only accumulate to buy CM730 and bearing data by CM730 to main controller. Okay, next I will just speak of this specification. The first electronic electron specification for main controller PC. As you know, we are using a PC, this CPU is an atom from Intel. It's process, process performance of about 1.6 gigahertz. As you know, the length size of the PTC is 1 gigabyte, and 4 gigabyte is flash disk. It means, that, you know, maybe SSD, solid state disk. It's a very stable, very stable uh, compared to the, the older one we use before. The DS drive, there are so, so many problems. So, so you can change it to, to 4, giga, 4 gigabyte flash disk. And as you know, it has the HDMI port for external video port and several audio port. And it has a, that only even for but also Wi-Fi and the USB port and for external storage, BNSD, and PC has officially supported the Linux and the Windows XP and Windows 7. But in this time, we adapt uh, some kinds of video system called Ubuntu. Next is specification for CM730. We are CM730 is a robotic specific. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, we made it ourselves. Then. Yeah, we using CPUs uh, uh, from uh, the core is ARM, you know, maybe the ARM core test core. Actually, it's five times faster than we use the Atmos one. Yeah, that means uh, we can serve about uh, seven, uh, 72 megahertz. Very important issue, not, not just uh, the scrolling issue. Yeah, it has performance 1.25 1. dB. It means uh, about 90 dB, maybe. Yeah, that's why I speak. Uh, the five times faster than Atmos one. Yeah, and several adds uh, about four, five hundred flash memory, and and there, there are so many characters in here. So that will mean USB RT or timers, SPI, USB and so on. Yes, we 
we are using communication system that will TTL RS-485. We are using before, uh, about 40 RS-485. We are changing RS-485 to TTL system now. I would like to explain the other devices, especially for actuator, the RS-20 AM. The RS-20 AM is very different from all the RS-20 RS AM, especially for this point, potential meters. Yeah, we are, we are changing. We have changed the uh, potential meters from uh, some contact type, register type of potential meter to contact list type, magnetic potential meters. And that means you don't have to worry about uh, some, some, some kinds of problem from potential meters. Because this, the, uh, every time the, the problem occurs, the contact point, there may be the lower selective, but you cannot see the, the new dying version because they, they are using contactless potential meters. The second point for, for oh sorry, second point for magnetic potential meter is that they are not using we are, we are not using anymore the kinds of AD converters. We are directly digital, digital <coughs> digitally connect to this uh, magnetic potential meter by SPI communication. That means you don't worry about the uh, some some like a signal noise. Yeah, that's the point of this uh, RF journey we have. Because we are using a professor. CPU in the RS-28 also, the, the communication time is four times faster than all one. Yeah, next is sensors. We are using uh, four kinds of sensors, actually a gyroscope, uh, it's three axis. Yeah, we are using the two axis maybe before. We are, we are now extending two axis to three axis. And accelerometers and the four FS sensors in each field, we totally eight FS sensors, and we are using, as you know, USB camera. No one uses camera, but it has so many high definition cameras so from Logitech, maybe, you know, you can find some information from uh, the website or something, uh, Logitech C905. Uh, some of them are not standard. Some of them are optional, right? This is, uh, so for example, the force Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. You're preparing for force sensors for option. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you mean that? This yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And we, yeah, because we, we are using some, some kinds of different potential meters. We, uh, also, we may be for time accuracy, yeah. And it's not using the RS-45? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So that's the difference between the, for those dynamic cells that we're using, that's the big difference. Yeah, yeah. And let's see some sound systems, speakers, and mic. We are using three mic. One mic is basically from the USB, and the other, these two mic is directly connected to sensor for detection, some kinds of unit direction. As you know, from sound detection. Yeah. And second, we have so many LEDs here. For example, like this, this point and this point has a 16-bit full color LED system, and over there, there's a there's a board six one color LED. Maybe you can program by our API. And there are several two C buttons for interface. You can program it by by API two, and we provide we provide SAPS and battery. The default battery is about almost one ampere in operating diving OT or about about 20, 25 minutes. But we can uh, we we preparing some some kinds of optional battery for la large capacity or about almost two ampere. You can operate the dyno by large large batteries or about uh, 40, 40 minutes or forty five minutes. Maybe. <coughs> okay, next is software specification. As I mentioned before, we are using Linux Ubuntu system. Just the package package version and kernel version. Yes, we, we provide some framework called Open Diving SDK. It composed by C++. We are using com compiled by general compiled GCC, and we are adapting scripts for you know integrated development environment. Yeah, you, you can use uh, any kinds of environment because we are using the normal PC system. Yeah, just uh, just is our recommendation. So this is what uh, uh, the company ROAS is going to be shipping the RDP with. However, as you will see later, you don't have to use that. You can run Windows if you want. You can erase all the software and have your own. 
Yeah, this right. is what Robotics is going to be optionally uh, yeah, yeah, supporting, right. technical support is based yeah. on this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, I'll talk about later this, this detailed information later, but I would like to say about that we are using some, some version for control system, so called control system, and uh, for remote desktop, VNC or free Linux, as you know, yes, we are using a cookie for, uh, as you know, SS terminal client. Yeah. For, we already installed Zamba to Darwin Office. You can connect easily by Mac or by, by Windows, by connecting network right. And especially for, we are going to uh, supply some kinds of software tools. There are four kinds of software tools, for example, about motion and working and device management and vision monitoring. I'll talk about later more detailed information. Okay, <coughs> now it's the time to exercise yourself, him and him and I to help you some kind of saver. Before setting up the network, you must turn on the Darwin Coffee. Okay. There are some kinds of AC code in front of your desk. <coughs> Are you ready? Okay. It's time to read Darwin. Okay. Actually, I'm going to call the other people. Yeah. 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 You can provide a by batteries, but we have a lot of time. You better find to buy a same PS or a power robot. As you can see, there, there is some as check over here, using this one, for the plug is this point. Plug in the power okay. in the back. I wait. <coughs> Next time, you must switch off. Mm -hmm. Power switching is just here. You see this? Hmm. Okay. And press the light side. Ready? To turn it on. Just, just turn it on to the, right. to the right. Oh, the power button. Oh. You break it, you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the point. <laughs> okay, everybody okay? Everybody turns on the time OP? Yeah, that works, but don't worry. It's the okay. okay, now. Maybe Dino B takes time or one minute to bring up. So you must be ready. During the time, I would like to suggest setting your network. I always set up the uh, network for Dino B like this. All thing you need to do is like this. Before that, please connect the ring cable. Yes. Of course, there is a wireless system which is Darwin, but I would like to recommend you using some wireless network for developing. Because of stable, stable connection state. Yeah. Actually, I already installed the DHCP Dino B, but I would like to recommend this system. Yes. If you have any difficulty, just raise your hand. We'll yeah. Yeah. Anybody has some problems? It's okay. <laughs> yeah, in case of using Windows, we submit for this information. That's okay. One one or one or one zero zero. That's okay. No problem. Important issue is gateway and network. <laughs> Yeah, we're sharing. 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 Yeah, we're sharing.
Oh, why would you have to go to the menu? Menu just. Where is the menu just? Because you just in case. We know you just. Yeah, we know. It's pretty robust. I don't want to use it. Like, I could just robot. If you connect correctly, you can meet Dai now. Not now. Six <laughs> <laughs>